ABH is an exploit found in the Source Engine, after the infamous Orange Box update that attempted to fix all the physics bugs found in Half-Life 2 and other Source games, but it just ended up making things a lot worse. ABH stands for Accelerated Backhopping. To explain it, we first have to explain what it isn't. ABH is a form of bunny hopping, which is a mechanic found in both the Quake Engine, Gold Source, which is Half-Life 1 and CS 1.6, and Source, which is CSS and CSGO, as well as Half-Life 2. This allows the player to essentially gain speed through stringing jumps together fast enough so that the game does not detect that the player is even hitting the ground. Bunny hopping is performed differently between Quake and Gold Source, but remains the same between Gold Source and Source. There are plenty of tutorials on YouTube explaining how to bunny hop. So now, with all that out of the way, what actually is ABH? Accelerated back hopping is essentially just bunny hopping backwards. It was a consequence of the Orange Box update's attempt to fix regular bunny hopping, which backfired tremendously. You see, bunny hopping isn't really a fixable thing. All Valve tried to do was stagger it by forcibly slowing down the player if they reached a certain speed threshold. Similar to how in CSGO, if you reach a certain speed, the game will slow you down. The thing is, instead of removing speed like in CSGO, they added a negative speed value. Meaning that if the player were to attempt to bunny hop forward, the game would add a negative speed to try to account for that. All was fine until players found out that they could trick the game into giving them this negative speed value by simply just bunny hopping backwards. See, the game engine reads this backwards bunny hopping as if it's just regular bunny hopping, and adds negative speed values accordingly. However, since the player is facing backwards, the game ends up exponentially adding negative speed values, causing the player to rocket backwards after only a few back hops. Thanks a lot for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'm not used to making content like this, so any form of, you know, criticism or, you know, help would be much appreciated. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe. I might make more of this content.